Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another How to Install video. Now that I am officially back to uploading, I will be going through all of my tutorial videos and updating them to their newest available version. And today we are starting with, surprisingly, Planet War Total War, as it was one of the most highly requested update videos. With the release of the new 5.0 version, many of you have commented on my old tu uh, tutorial video saying that you have had problems installing the new version. So I do hope this video helps you out, and if it does, please leave a like and consider subscribing, as I do have an end of year goal in 2022 of 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Alright, let's go ahead and get this mod installed, and before we do begin, make sure you have removed any older versions of this mod, because 5.0 is a standalone version. Alright, the first thing we need to do is obviously go to moddb.com, and then in the search bar we're going to start typing in Planet War Total War. Don't leave a space in Planet and War, because then it actually won't show up. Leave leave it all as one word and that it should be the first one to populate. Go ahead to the files tab and click on Planet Warp version 5 and then we're going to click download now. Make sure that you do leave this ad up while the download begins. If you close it beforehand it actually will stop the download. Uh, now a couple of things to note here while this is downloading. I have had quite a few reports of people saying that they were getting network errors when trying to download various mods. It isn't exclusive to this mod, people have been saying that about Napoleon Total War 3, Third Age 4.0, the list goes on and on. And to be perfectly frank, I have had quite a bit of problems with that network error as well. I'm assuming it's something to do with on mod db's end with maybe you know their servers and accessing the files and us trying to download it from there because i have very good internet and a lot of other people that i've spoken to in the comments say the same thing and i have found that when it does say network error meaning that it didn't download in its entirety or it didn't download properly uh, the best thing to do is just to exit it and start over and if you're just persistent with it you will eventually get the download I don't know if we're going to be extremely lucky in this first one, or if it'll say network error as well. Uh, no, we are extremely lucky. Okay. If it does say network error, though, uh, just make sure to close it here and then re-download it. As I said, it may take up to four or five times to actually get the download. Uh, it took as many as five times for me at one point. A couple of other things to note, you are going to need extraction software for this. That's why I have the little three books stacked on top of one another. That's the uh, icon for WinRare. I prefer to use WinRare just because it's the first one that I came across, but two other alternatives are WinZip and 7-Zip. All three are free to use and uh, they are reliable uh, and perfectly safe. They're not going to give you any viruses or anything, but if you don't have any extraction software, then you will not be able to access the mod. So make sure that you do have that downloaded beforehand. Now, what we're going to do is go into our downloads folder, and we've got our Planet War version uh, 5. Uh, we do have 1.38 gigabytes here, which is good. And what we're going to do is go to our Medieval 2 folder. Uh, most of you may have it installed on your local C drive. Uh, most uh, with Steam will have it as local C, program files 86, down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then your uh, Medieval 2 will be in this folder. For uh, disk users, it should be local C, program file 86, uh, Sega, Medieval 2 mods. I actually have it on my G drive because my C drive is not big enough to have all my games, but it's the same thing. Steam apps, common, down to uh, Medieval 2. And then we're going to go into the mods folder. Over here, we're going to double click opening up the Planet War version 5. And we're going to double click on this and you can see that it's actually called Americas. Now there is two ways to install this mod and I'm going to show both of them to you guys. And it's really just personal preference as to how you want to install it. This first way is actually uh, a way of tricking the uh, game to launch the Americas campaign, which is one of the DLCs. You can see it here. But what we're going to do is actually rename this Not Americas. And that way, in the launch options, it won't be looking for that folder anymore. And then we're going to move this Americas over and we're going to drop it in the mods folder. 
Now this will take a little bit of time, so I'm going to make a tiny cut here, and then we'll bring it back once this is almost complete. And there we go. So now it's populated with an America's folder. But if we go in, you can see that all of this stuff is vindicative of the uh, Planet War Total War. So we're not going to use the executable. This is the second way, which I'll show you in a bit. What we're going to do is actually go into our Steam page now. And we're going to go to Library, and we're going to go and click on Medieval 2 Total War. And what it does is it brings up which expansion it would like to launch. And this is where we actually trick the game, or the launch options. It, when it launches the Americas campaign, it will actually launch Planet War Total War. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go can see that it is loading in and apologies it probably will be pretty loud because I haven't uh, set the volume turn it way down but there you go you can see we are in planet war total war if we go to single and grand campaign it is all here but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you another way on how to install this that doesn't require you tricking the launch options uh, in Steam so let's go ahead and take a look at that now all right, guys, so the second way of installing this mod is also quite simple. You can see that I've reverted the changes. This is now my actual America's campaign, so I have it right back to the way it was before we uh, renamed it and dragged this over. So what we need to do basically is just rename this to Planet War Total War. Now, there's a very important step here. We cannot drag this into here and then rename it because it'll conflict with the America's folder we already have. So what we're going to have to do is just right click on it or sorry left click on it and then left click on it again so that we can rename it and then I'm just going to rename it planet war like so and once we hit OK on it, it's going to actually go through the entire folder and rename all of these files uh, from Americas to Planet War version 5. You can see that it's reverting all of the changes. I know it's moving very quickly, but it's saying Americas to Planet War version 5. This is a crucial step because even if you name this not Americas and drag the Americas folder into here and then rename it Planet War uh, Total War or Planet War, whatever you want to rename it, it actually won't go through this process process. It's actually processing, processing the archive through WinRare. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it just needs to go through the entire folder and do this step. So I'm going to make a little cut here while this is going on because it does take a bit of time and we'll bring it back to you when the process is almost complete. All right, so that process is completely done, and you can see that it's been renamed to Planet War. So now all we're going to do is follow the exact same steps that we did in the last installation and just drag it into our Medieval 2 Mods folder. And again, this is going to take a bit of time as it uh, extracts all of the files, and then once it extracts the files, it is going to install it into the Mods folder. And there we go. So we can close these two. We won't need them anymore. And there we go. We've got Planet War installed here. So what we can do is double click on it. And then this is what we're going to do to launch it. If you want to make a shortcut to your desktop, you can right click on it and then click create shortcut. And then you can actually put it over to your desktop. And then that will actually uh, launch Planet War Total War. That way you won't have to go into the mods folder. But I'm just going to use the executable for now. And all we're going to do is double click on this and launch Planet War Total War. So I'm going to make a quick cut here and I will see you inside the game. All right, guys, welcome to Planet War Total War. And this time we're actually going to go into a campaign and just do a quick test just to prove that we've done the installation properly. There are quite a bit of uh, factions for you to choose from here, as you can see. But we're just going to go with the Human Empire and just keep the basic options. Uh, we'll check Manage All Cities as well. And here we go. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to uh, show me loading into the game is just because that music is quite loud when I do load in. So I just wanted to protect your guys' ears. But here we are as the Human Empire. We're going to do uh, one or two end turns uh, just to show you that it doesn't do any end turn crashing. 
And we will actually uh, just stress the mod here by actually doing some uh, actions. So let's just quickly run through here. We'll just pick whatever. I'll get roads there. That's fine. Uh, that there. And that's all of our money. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get our army together. And we will load into a battle for you as well. Uh, so we won't do it this turn, though. We'll do it on the next turn. So we'll get them together. And we'll get all of these together. And we'll leave the uh, slingers there. And we'll just uh, move to the other side. And we can't afford any mercenaries. Uh, that's fine. And actually, before we do load into the battle, I don't usually waste your guys' times too much with this, but I have to show you this spy here. It's Mr. Bean! <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, this mod is, is just absolutely ridiculous. I do highly recommend it. It's quite... Uh, Quite a fun time. But anyways, let's go ahead and attack here. Join in with them. And then attack here. And we're all load in. Just to show you that I actually can get into the campaign. We can do end turns without it crashing. And we can load into battles. That kind of covers all of the bases for the installation. And there we go. Let's go ahead and start deployment and start battle. And as you can see, it is working. And they are on the other side of the bridge, but we aren't really going to fight this. We're just going to leave it as it is. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and I do hope that this was uh, beneficial for you and you found it useful. If you did, as I said, please leave a like and do consider subscribing. And if you have any issues with this download at all, please feel free to uh, leave a comment in the... Uh, comments down below and I will try and help you out uh, to the best of my abilities. But until next time guys, uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.